What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back with yet another video here. Um, today, we are going to be talking about a team that I'm absolutely kind, absolutely in love with. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna throw out their name quite, quite yet. Um, but, yeah, so, but yeah, so, if you guys love these kind of videos, remember to leave a like, subscribe, the notification bell, hit me up on Snapchat, add my social in bio, and let's get into this video. So, they, we are going to be, today, we are going to be talking about a team that I absolutely love. Um, I'm not going to tell you the team quite yet, you guys have to guess. Um, but, and I mentioned it in, yes, maybe mentioned it in yesterday's, yes, I mentioned it in yesterday's video. Um, we have Chase Bradley, Ross Colton, Max, a million, Curran, Jonathan Drewin, Gina Luke, F Fowdy, uh, Gina Inala, Inala, Ivan, Ivan, what a name, Parker Kelly, Joel Curva, Joel Carvanta, Nikolai Kovalenka, Atari Lackanen, uh, Nathan McKinnon, Casey Middlesat, Logan O'Connor, Andre Pavel, Oscar Olison, Matthew Phillips, Jason Poulin, Mika Rantanen, Ty, uh, Miles Wood, Chris Wagner, Ty, TJ Tynan, Caleb Ritchie, Matt Steinberg, Wyatt Ahmad, Wyatt Amadilt, Jack Akon, Sean Varenz, Eric Brent from Kevin Ahan, Sam Gino Gerard, Oliver Shillington, Jacob McDonald, Cal McCarr, Sam Malinsky, Josh Manson, Keaton Middleton, Cal Rosen, Devontae, Georgiev, Justice Inuin, uh, Kevin Mendeliz, and Trent Minor. Um, just going through all that team, basically, like I mentioned. They just have a lot of good guys, like like I mentioned, Kenan McCarr, Rantanen. Uh, they do have Landis Skog, Georgiev, and this team that I am talking about here is the Colorado Avalanche. Again, one of my favorite teams, my favorite player in the entire on the Colorado Avalanche is Nathan McKinnon, only because Nathan McKinnon and Sidney Crosby are like friends. They're friends in Nova Scotia. They practice together. They do, like, you name it, they probably do it together. Nathan McKinnon and or Sidney Crosby. Um, two, like I said, two of my favorite, one of my favorite players is Nathan McKinnon. Um, their coach, I forget his name. Uh, the Lynch, not the roster, but their coach is Jared Bednar, also one of my favorites. Full schedule. Um, but yeah, so... The Avalanche, are, like I said, are one of my favorite teams uh, in the league here. And so, yeah. Um, do something real quick. Tomorrow we will do the Predators, our next. Which will be an interesting one. Um, but, oh, they play Thursday night. Mountain time. Um, yeah, it's okay. I guess. Um, so they her their home opener is gonna be a good one. It's on October 9th. I might stay up and watch it. It's at eight o'clock. Um, I don't know what time that is. Eastern. Let me look. Look, Eastern. That's Pacific. Eastern time, that game is at ten o'clock. Okay, so ten o'clock Eastern time. Mountain time venue game time. Uh, oh, seven. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's mountain time. It's at eight, but it's at ten o'clock. Um, I might actually stay up and watch that, because I got my work schedule for that week. I'm off Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I work Tuesday and Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday that week. Um, so I might be able to watch some hockey that week. So, opening week of hockey, the sixth, I work. Um, also that night, the Steelers is the Steelers game, so... Yeah, um, I might be trying to get videos up early before the game, because it's at 8.30, I think. I have to check that one. Um, but anyway, so their first game is on the... Their first game is on the 9th at 10 o'clock. I might save and watch some of that. It's the home opener. It's the Colorado Avalanche opener. Um, wait, no, it's not. It's the Golden Knights opener. And then on the October the 12th, 
they play the Blue Jackets. That's their opener. So it's at seven o'clock. So nine o'clock. And then on the then they play the Islanders, the Bruins, the Ducks, the Sharks, the Kraken, the Utah Hockey Club. Which by the way, I'll talk about them when I get to them. The Senators, the Blackhawks. That's a back to back home and home. And then they host the Lightning. Um, a rematch of the 2020, whatever, 2020, I forget what year it was, 2022 Stanley Cup Finals, I think it was. And then in November, they also will be play, playing my Penguins at some point. I think it's December? Nope, January. I swear they play the Penguins at some point in January. Oh, it's a 1 o'clock game, so it's 11 a.m. their time. 1 o'clock, 7.30. Um, February, um, hello, did the league not schedule, oh, by the way, so there's, like, the 8th, you'll notice, I'll notice, and I'm gonna explain this, from the 8th to the 21st, there's no, 8th to the 20th, or the 10th, whatever day that is, I forget what it is, to the 20, whatever, um, I'm gonna do a video more in depth about that, probably when we get closer, probably, like, the first weekend of February slash the end of January. Once we know all the rosters is the four nations face off. Um, let me see. Penguins are March fourth, and then probably not till April, huh? Yeah. December 10th. Um, hold on, let me go back. March 4th, that's a home game, right? Yes. Let me go back again. February, January. Yeah, February, or er, January, December 10th, which is literally two weeks before Christmas Eve. Um, that is the Penguins and the, they will come to Pittsburgh. But yeah, so that's it of that team. Um, the last year they went 50, 25, and 7, and I had 107 points. Um, they were knocked out in the, what round was that? Second round to the Dallas Stars in six. Uh, they went to the... They were knocked out in the second round by the Dallas Stars last year. Yeah, that was the second round. Yeah, okay. And then... Is it the second round or the third round? The call. Uh, let me see. They beat... That was the second round, because I because then Dallas went on to play Edmonton. Edmonton played okay, so it was it was they got knocked out in the second round. Ever since they won that cup in twenty twenty two, they haven't been back to the finals since. But they might be getting. Let me see. There's one guy that they have, and I mentioned him earlier. Is Gabriel Landeskog. They he's all. Um. Oh, what the? No, 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 no. Um. Um. So, um. Gabriel Landeskog, a reason why I want to talk about him here real quick is um, Landeskog hasn't been in the game in two years because of a knee injury. He's 31. He'll be going into his, I think, 32-year-old season. I don't know. Um, and he's in, they have... I think tonight they have their first... No, they had their first preseason, home preseason game yesterday, and they lost, but 
I don't know if he played, but, and if he did, he'll, he'll probably be playing at some point. And if everything goes well, he will be able to be back and playing the, with the Colorado Avalanche, which kind of like in my mind, not my mind, but in the Colorado Avalanche's mind, um, is a big, or not mind, but like to a Colorado Avalanche, that having, getting Landers Cog back is a huge boost. But yeah, so that's kind of like it on this video here. Hold on, I'm gonna get some water. My throat hurts. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we will. Con so looking at our schedule, tomorrow is what Wednesday? Yes. Tomorrow is tomorrow. We will do the. Predators, which I kind of want to talk about them. Um, and then Thursday, we'll do the Blues. Friday, the Wild. Saturday, we'll do the Utah Hockey Club. And then Sunday, we'll finish off with the Blackhawks here. Um, so, to, like I said, tomorrow we will do the Predators. Um, but I'm kind of like, yeah, so... So like I said, finishing up with the Avalanche here before we move on to the Predators tomorrow is one more thing about the Avs. Um, like I said, they get, they will probably at some point get Landis Cog back. And having him back is a very big boost due to the fact that he was out for two years, hasn't been with the team since 2020, in the end of the 2021-2022 season when they won the Cup. Um, but in 2020, he missed all the all of 2022, 2023 season. He missed all of 23, 24 season. They're just a prior season. He should be back for 24, 25 if everything goes well. Let's do the one thing with Linus Gog is he can never stay healthy. Um, and that is a big reason why. I mean, the odds are still good without him, but who knows? Um, but yeah, so. If you guys like these kinds of videos, remember to leave a like, subscribe, then notification bell. Hit me up on Snapchat, add my socials to my bio, and I will see you guys all tomorrow for the Predators video. Peace.